Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can put your picture on a billboard using GIMP 2.8 and I'll be using two images, this one and also this one. Information about the images that I use you can find in the about section of the video. As you can see the second image is a lot bigger than the image with the billboard so I'm going to need to scale this image down, make sure I have selected this layer to make it active, grab the scale tool click on the image, click on this chain to lock it, this way we are going to affect both the width and the height of the image and I'm going to type here 2000 pixels, click enter, then click scale and this is going to take some time until it's finished. Next I'm going to use the move tool to position the image. Now you can see that the image is still bigger than the billboard. The width of the image will fit well uh, on this billboard but the height of the image will not so I'm going to crop it. I'm going to choose the crop tool and click on this option current layer only. I'm going to drag like this to select the entire image and then I'm going to adjust the height. let's say to something like this and then just click here to crop this image next I'll grab the move tool and adjust the position next I'll grab the perspective tool click on the image and I'm going to reduce the opacity of the layer and also let's zoom in holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel now I'm going to adjust the cage here of the perspective tool. Next click transform. Now let's zoom out. And let's make the opacity of the layer 100 again. Also, go to layer, layer 2 image size. And this is a pretty good fit. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to create inner shadow effect. And we're going to use this trick here to make this look more realistic. So, instead of text, this time we have basically a rectangle here. And what we need to do is to again create another layer, click on this option, click OK, then let's fill this layer with a color from the edit menu, fill with the foreground color which is black, then let's go here on this layer, right click and choose alpha to selection, then move back to this layer and hit the delete key, next select menu, choose none, then go to filters, Lights and shadow, drop shadow. Again, you can experiment with these settings, but I'm going to use the defaults. Just click OK. And once this is finished, we have a drop shadow layer created here. This top layer we are not going to need anymore, so let's delete it. Again, let's go to the image here on this layer. Right click, choose alpha to selection. Go back to the drop shadow layer. Control I to invert the selection. Hit the delete key. And go to select none. And you can see the effect here. This looks much better than without the shadow. Over here, if you notice, the shadow is not uh, very visible. We can create another drop shadow layer using the same trick with very small changes. So let's do this real quick. I'm going to create a new layer, then fill this layer with black color with control comma, then right click on this layer, alpha to selection, go back to this layer with the black color, hit the delete key, Control shift a to deselect, then go to the filters menu and choose drop shadow again, 
and this time I'm going to type here minus for both offset X and offset Y then click OK once the shadow layer is created we can delete this layer again here on this layer we're going to select alpha to selection option go back here control i to invert the selection delete key control shift a to deselect and now if you want to control the strength of the shadow if you want it to be stronger in two of the sides for example the upside here and the left side and less strong in the bottom and uh, in the right side you can control this with the opacity of the layer and by the way as you can see the drop shadow layer is at 60 percent opacity so you can actually increase the opacity here and make the shadow stronger or you can decrease it make it less strong like this for example and one more thing left to do the shadow layers created this transparency around the background image so to get rid of this I'm going to select this layer grab the crop tool click on this option current layer only drag like this then deselect this option and just click here this will crop the image to the original size so that's it for this video I hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video leave me a comment visit my channel for more and that's it for now bye